Hello and welcome to this presentation on error messages in M+. In this little session, I want to talk about one error message in particular that you might encounter in M+, when you run a structural equation model. So I want to show you this here. I have a very simple one-factor confirmatory factor analysis model with continuous indicator variables. I have three indicator variables for my factor F here, and uh, the indicators are named Y1 through Y3, and so I want to show you what happens when I run this model. Input reading terminated normally, so that still looks good, and you might think, okay, great. But then you scroll down further, and then you can see, oh, the model estimation terminated normally, but warning, the residual covariance matrix theta is not positive definite. This could indicate a negative variance or residual variance for an observed variable or correlation greater or equal to one between two observed variables or a linear dependency among more than two observed variables. Check the results section for more information problem, problem involving variable Y3. So there's a lot of information and users might panic and say, oh God, what is wrong with my model? What, what does this mean in negative residual variance or non-positive definite matrix. So when does this message occur in M plus? Most of the time, the reason for this is that you have a negative error variance estimate in your measurement model, meaning one of the indicators of your factor has an error variance estimate that is negative, which is impossible. A variance cannot be negative by definition. Variances are always positive. They're um, based on the sums of squared deviations from the mean. And so when you square something, it's always positive. So that's weird. But in latent models, that can happen. So we can get latent variance estimates because those are estimates that are based on latent variables and the idea of latent variable modeling. And so it can happen that you get a negative variance for an error variable or even for a latent variable that can also happen. And so we want to talk about a little bit what this looks like in M plus and what uh, causes of that might be. So let's scroll down. We see this model is saturated, a one factor model with three indicators and freely estimated loadings for two of the three indicators is always saturated. So the model fits, so to say it fits perfectly by definition, it's just identified, but it produces this improper parameter estimate nonetheless. So let's take a look at the model results. The loadings are given here, the unstandardized loadings, they look fine. We get intercepts, we get a factor variance, but then you can see under residual variances, you get this offending estimate here for Y3 as indicated by M plus. And so this error variance estimate is slightly negative. How can this happen? So oftentimes an estimate like this is caused by model misspecification. So meaning the model is incorrectly specified. In this case, we can exclude that for two reasons. A, the model is saturated and so it must fit perfectly by definition. However, <clears throat> it was also simulated from a one factor model with um, these indicators. So I simulated the data and I simulated them with a positive error variance in the population model. So then how can this happen? This is the correctly specified model for sure because I did simulate the data in exactly this way. Now there are two reasons here why this might have occurred. One is I simulated the error variance for this indicator to be very small, 0.05 in the population model corresponding to a very high reliability of this indicator, meaning it's a highly reliable variable in the population where the factor explains a lot of the variance in this indicator. And so then this means the population value is close to zero. Now, in addition to that, I simulated a sample that has the size of only 100 cases. You can see that when you go up to a number of observations, you can see we have only 100 cases. So we have a pretty small sample. In smaller samples, you have more sampling error. 
right? And so when you have sampling error or variability in your parameter estimates, then some of these samples might return a negative variance estimate only because of sampling error, because the true population parameter value is so close to zero. And so then some of that distribution of that variance parameter kind of jumps over the line, over the boundary of zero, and some of these replications then had negative error variances. And I picked one out of these replications that I generated from the simulation to illustrate this problem. So small sample is a problem, highly reliable indicators in small samples can be a problem, and then other things are model misspecification. That's the most frequent causes when you have uh, a, a model that is misspecified, where you have not enough factors or you maybe have too many factors, you have an over-factorization so, so that an observed variable is over-explained and then, so say that error variance uh, parameter estimate is messy and can be negative. What else can you see then in M plus? When you go to the standardized solution, you can also see that negative variance here, which doesn't make any sense because that would correspond to negative explained variance. So that's weird. So, so more than 100% explained variance in terms of the factor. So that makes no sense. And you can see then R squared is undefined in that case. So what should you do now when you get something like that? You should think about whether your sample size is too small. Maybe you should think about whether your model is misspecified. Maybe you have a model that um, could be improved in terms of its specification. Maybe you have indicators that don't fit together where they don't all measure the same factor and then you might, due to that misspecification, also create this problem or this might come up because of that. So maybe your indicators aren't unidimensional. So those are all things to think about when you encounter this situation. I hope you found this useful and if you have other ideas for what you want to see discussed with M+, please leave a comment in the comment section and I see you next time.